Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. Today we're going to be playing Final Fantasy VII Remake Intermission. Of course, it's finally time. Now, let me tell you a story. We did stream this a while back on Twitch and for some reason I was having some major bitrate issues and it just ended up being just not enjoyable to watch. And you know, that's, you know, an issue for me because I always want to give you the best, most high quality content. And so we decided to restream it and so this is take two and i hope you enjoy it take a second to like the video before you begin and we'll get on to that gameplay video enjoy gosh ps5 it looks so good Wu Tai's finest girl finally made it to Midgar. <sighs> Those dang pigeons always making girls fall off of things. mixture of like confidence and then like in the face of just absolutely the goofiest stuff you know you got this Yuffie <clears throat> my name is Yuffie materia hunter and elite special forces operative for the new Wutai government I have orders to infiltrate Shinra headquarters and steal their ultimate materia to prove to our common enemy that Wu Tai is not to be trifled with. Members of Avalanche, with your full support, we got this. All right. So, members of Avalanche, we got the mission. Where are you? Come get me already. It's a great question. I don't know what she so, thinks it means. You, do I? You got some nerve. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I'm so excited to be playing this again. All right, now it's been a long time since I have played this. So I have to pretty much relearn it completely. Okay, so Yuffie can fight effectively both up close and from range. Press square to strike a foe. Hold square to attack while putting distance between us. Okay. Guarding just before an enemy lands a hit will greatly reduce the damage, but not completely. What's the guard button again? What's the lock on? There we go, okay. <clears throat> Okay, so we have full ATB, so let's use something. Let's use Art of War. Buffet an enemy with blows and all subsequent attacks deal increased damage. Sure. There you go. That worked great. Let's use Art of War again. No problem. All right. Piece of cake. By pressing triangle, Yuffie can hurl her weapon at a target. Press square while it's away from her to perform long range ninjutsu attacks. Oh, this is kind of funny because I just started playing ninja in Final Fantasy XIV. So this is all sounding familiar and it's making me giggle. Um, the weapon will return to Yuffie automatically for a certain amount of time, or after a certain amount of time. To retrieve it sooner, press triangle again. Okay. Ooh, you've gotten me already. 
Go away, sir. No. No, thank you. Excuse me. Okay. Now, beasts are weak to ice. Is that right? What do we have? We have assess. So let's just assess them. And then we can assess the situation. Yeah, weak to ice, which is fabulous. So we're going to, when we have ATB, use that to our advantage. But in the meantime, while they're like grouped up like this, we're just gonna keep crushing them. <laughs> hey, if you're not gonna move, like that works for me. Wow, we're so good at this game. <laughs> By pressing triangle, Yuffie's capable of destroying Shinra boxes from a distance. By destroying multiple boxes at one time, by giving Yuffie the perfect vantage point. Oh, you know how I love to destroy some boxes. Oh, all in one, look at that. We must be at a perfect vantage point. Woohoo! Hi, potion. This is super fun. And swing and flip. Get ready. I love this like absolute physics defying. Okay, we don't have this assessed yet, but we might as well. Cause I'm sure it's not the last time we'll be fighting a Drake. Okay, so elemental ninjutsu. The ability elemental ninjutsu changes the elemental affinity of Yuffie's square attack while her weapon is away. Though it deals non-elemental damage at first, pressing the left and right while the ability is selected will alter the affinity of the attack. Use elemental ninjutsu to exploit your weaknesses, enemies. Nope. <laughs> exploit your weaknesses, enemies. Exploit your enemies' weaknesses and pound them into submission. Wow, that's like a very aggressive like way to phrase that. Okay. So... I think they're weak to air. I think I just know that. Yeah, wind. So, well, let's just assess because then we just have it. Because then you have it. Like, I knew they were already weak to wind, but then you have it, you know? So, we're just gonna, you know, we really do need to cure ourselves, though. Let's actually cure ourselves. Perfect. Don't tornado me, please. Nope, you did it anyway. Excellent. Well, let's just then use our wind ninjutsu and just keep killing that Drake. Oh, I'm really gonna die though. Oh, but he's pressured, so it's working out for us. There we go, okay. All right, so he's out. Now we can use Akura on ourselves so that we don't die. And then switch our elemental ninjutsu to ice, because I think they're weak to ice. You need to kill. So then we'll get distance, and then we'll use triangle, and then do the ninjutsu. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We're getting the hang of this. Why don't we use an art of war while we're here? And just end this. Fabulous. All in a day's work. All in a day's work. Wait. That's obviously the way we're supposed to go, so I just gotta make sure. Uh, are these boxes for smashing? No, no, but that was adorable, Yuffie. <laughs> She's so cute. I can't stand it. Ooh, a little bit of story intrigue. Mm -hmm. No palm.
You okay? Anybody home? <sighs> so he is not the man we're looking for because he has no Moogle Palm. And I guess you're gonna have to get the elevator moving by striking the switch. Like so. How does it work to flip the switch down? We don't ask those questions in games. We just say, hey, that was cool. And we accept it and move on. Okay. Oh, hello. Why am I locked onto that one? Ooh, well, I'm really glad because I'm pretty sure once they climb up the wall, they like try to, they jump on you and bind you. So I'm really glad that we avoided that. Wow, we are crushing these. And I'm not, oh, you're still alive. Well, we can't have that, can we? Why don't we... Steal something? No. Why don't we just windstorm them? Let's see what that does. Oh, okay, so that's that's a from your where you're at thing. So windstorm was useless. But we can use an art of war here. So we shall. And it worked out great. Well, can't fault him for trying. To what? Destroy you? Kill you? Eat you? What do we have here? Okay, so go that way seems like the right thing to do. By jumping over these boxes. And then I think, put this elevator down. And then I think we go over there because there's something fun over there. Woo! Her outfit is really so cute and, ooh, hello. Take. Yeah, her outfit is just the cutest. And it's so like dynamic. So like when she's sliding down, it becomes like a little fi flying squirrel thing. So cute. Aha! This is why we explore all the areas, isn't it? Take. A HP up materia. Well, we certainly have to use that. Certainly. Oh, and we even have an empty spot for it, so I don't have to take any other materia out. That's perfection. Okay. Set materia, but for the armlet. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Whoa, we have a lot of materia to choose from here. Well, I don't guard very often. So we have all of our lightning materia, all of our elemental materia. Breach and Dispel. I don't think I use that very much in the remake playthrough. Synergy is for when you have a party member. So we're gonna use HP up and we're just gonna start leveling up that materia for whenever we need it. Fabulous. And I think we just slide down this pole, firefighter style, and then back up the ladder and out we go. I feel like we have the same sense of humor, me and Yuffie, because I definitely would have made that joke. Okay, what did we get? Power wrist guards. Yeah, what do they do? Increase the strength by 5%. Fabulous. We had room for it. We took it. We wore it. It's a win, 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 win. <gasps> Destroy some boxes. Yes, please. There's nothing else here. City of garbage, more like. <laughs> Love it. Love it.
what next? Ooh, okay. So these, like, corrupted panther dog things are definitely harassing that man in a robe. But first, we have to look for stuff. Like, that's just the rules. Can I go that way? No, that's blocked off. Okay. Huh? I gotta do something. Ah, character development it is. Let's see what's up here. This danger music is so good. I love the little clicky sounds. Knocky sounds? They're like knocking. I like it. That's the point. You'll do the trick. You will do the trick. So now to save the day. I love that she just narrates everything that she's doing. And save the day is like part of her narration. Fabulous. Okay, I believe these things killed me last time, so... Nope. See? They're, they just take so much HP. Alright, let's cure ourselves. Don't get interrupted. Okay, now, we don't know what their weakness is, but they're a creature. I'm gonna guess it's ice. So are we in ice ninjutsu? I have no idea. But I'm wondering... Oh, okay. See, the thing is, is their, like, bind attack is still ranged, and you can't, like, guard against it, so... Woo! We're gonna need to Cura again. Wowee! It hits so hard! Okay, but I can just do a little roll away. They're so quick, though! Yeah, just, I'm gonna keep running and you just keep getting hit by my <laughs> apparently sentient shuriken. <laughs> that worked great. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep doing that. I'm just gonna do that and you just be distracted with that. Mm -hmm. We have some ATB now, so maybe we'll use an Art of War. I don't think it gets better than that, you know? <laughs> Alright. Okay. What number are you? Number 20? Mm hmm. All right, well, that was hilarious. See, that's why I love this game. Just, you're always finding random, funny, goofy little things like that. What is that? Oh, that's just a little ray of sunlight, okay. Yeah, nothing there, nothing there, but we will climb this thing. Oh, we will? Yeah, we will, we will. We'll climb this thing. Man, it feels good to be back in this world. It's so special. Ah, there's a thing up here. Take. Please. Orb of wind materia. I think that's a second wind materia. It's not. We didn't have that before, so that's good. I like the wind materia because the drakes are really hard to fight because they're up in the air. Yuffie does better than Cloud did up in the air, but I always like to just get them out of the way quickly because they're kind of annoying, you know? Whoop! Whoop! Aha! I'll take it. Ooh, 1,000 gil. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Okay. Yes. 
definitely smash the boxes. What else do we have here? Nothing else. Okay. Across the bridge, more hooded figures. Wowee. They're just everywhere. Ooh. Number 16 is saying Genova. Why? It's a mystery to some people, but not to all people. This is too weird. It is pretty weird. <laughs> okay, you got this. I do wonder what her little arm cast thing is over here. Is it supposed to be an arm guard? And if so, why? But also, why does it have like this little spigot? You put water in there? What's the lore on the arm guard? Inquiring minds want to know. Gosh, so satisfying. Okay, right or left? I think it ends up being a circle, so we'll go right. Huh, okay. That rotten egg smell's gone. Must have gotten used to it. The way things are going, I'll be working for Shinra next. Nice try, Midgar. <laughs> what? I'm talking to myself. The city's getting to me. Yeah. Yuffie, sometimes you just gotta talk to yourself. Sometimes that's just the way to play the game. And no one can take that from you. You always have yourself to talk to. It's a win-win. Okay, so we've made our way pretty much back around to where we were. And now there's this creepy cave that we're definitely going to explore. So dark. Ooh, take. MP up, okay. So if we're gonna use a lot of MP, that's good to start leveling. But is there something that I wanna sacrifice? for it. That's the thing. I don't know if that's what I want to do. Okay, boxes. And now, okay, smash boxes, which means we've officially closed the loop. Wow, I really just exploded them all. Okay, that way I don't think we're going through. So I think it's this way is the correct way. Any monster troubles or? Yes. Bye. Monsters been acting strange. Not gonna be good for any of us. Blue Tide's got their claws in this. Mercury Reactor Five has been temporarily shut down, and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control, and the people of our first city need not worry about any additional complications. We are in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation. But we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. Oh, 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 what do we have here? <laughs> Man, that's gotta be Avalanche. Not bad. Not bad at all. But I can do better. Yuffie? <laughs> <gasps> Moogle hat. There's our palm. Oh, you're Avalanche? I'm Jija. Follow me. He's not wearing it, though. Wait up! <gasps> Chadlius! So, our so buddy! Why didn't you come meet me before? Hello, sir. I elite W agent could find their own way. I may be elite, but it's not like I've ever been to Midgar. What exactly is a W, anyway? Anyone who lives where you just came from. Think of it as a code name. Uh-huh. Still can't believe they sent a kid to do this job. This kid Take? Saying you're a fresh face is all. Oh, don't worry. Take? I know exactly what you're saying. Uh, Give me a break, will ya? I want it. Don't walk all over me. Get it. The mission was a success. <gasps> so why aren't they back yet? Well, here we are. Ladies first. Our buddies. This is even more nostalgic. Oh, buddies. You don't know who Yuffie is. But but we know who you are. That's not creepy. Promise. Oh, can I go take? Are you gonna yell at me for trying to walk away? 
Oh, oh, whoa. <laughs> No, don't yell at me. No, I want to take the materia. No. Uh. All right, we'll go inside whatever this is. The Sector 7 clinic. <sighs> Bench! Another, another revisiting of our friends. Our friend Bench. Wow. And we feel so rejuvenated and restored. We love Bench. Thank you for bringing me here, Shijay. Did I pronounce that right? That's a hard one. I thought that's what I saw. Take. Literally just walking into like their place and just taking their stuff, you know? <laughs> um, boomerang. Wow, it looks pretty cool. Uh, okay, so we're not yet proficient in this elemental ninjutsu ability. So we're gonna still use the shuriken for now, but I love the idea of switching over to the boomerang as soon as possible so that we can have the materia slots because I love materia slots. This looks like a crew if I've ever seen one. These two are Billy Bob and Polk. And that's Nio. Hi. My name is Yuki, Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the new Utai government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra HQ and steal their ultimate Materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with! Members of Avalanche, with your full support, we got this! She practiced that. Ready to rumble, huh? So you cute. You believe it! So, did you guys meet Sonan yet? He was supposed to be here. Yeah, he got in three days ago. He's out on the town as we speak. <laughs> really seems to be enjoying it here. Oh, he does, does he? You, uh, got any bags? As if. Ninjas always travel light. That's like a rule. <laughs> <sighs> but I did bring these. Wu Tai's famous da chow beans. Eat up. And here you go. Uh, huh. Where? <laughs> Wait, is that what she's keeping in the arm guard? Oh. Ugh. <laughs> I need eat these things? I guess they're crunchy beans? Are they dried? Does she eat them dried? Sheesh. You ninjas are insane. <laughs> Do me a favor, Yuffie, and wait here for Sonon. I gotta head out. Your ID should be ready for pickup by now. Then why don't I join you? Nah, I got this. Besides, you reek of trouble. <laughs> huh? <laughs> she actually smells herself to double check. Yuffie, come on. Come on now. All right, let's see what everyone has to you say. tired from your trip. Why don't you get some rest? With all the noise in this city, I'm freaking possible. How about you tell me where in the Shinra building they're keeping that materia instead? Don't hold out on me now. I know you know. Actually, I kind of don't. At least, not an exact location. All I know is that Shinra, for most purposes, treats materia as a weapon. Which means the Advanced Weaponry Division probably deals with it. And since that's in the basement... I see. So... Shinra hides its top secret materia in the basement. <laughs> you won't have to wait much longer, my precious. I promise. Just be careful, will you? Who's she talking to? <laughs> oh, yeah. You should introduce yourself to Billy Bob. He knows a thing or two about the Shinra building. Who's my precious? I have questions. 
Sorry, Billy Bob. So the materia I'm looking She's not sorry though. She's welcome. Wait, he's welcome. Where is that exactly? <laughs> Ignorance truly is bliss, huh? What did you just say? Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to offend you. Of course, you probably knew this already, but there's a whole other city built on the plate above us. Shinra building's right in the middle. You can't miss it. Oh, that one. Why didn't you say so? Now, if you want to get topside, you first got to get out of the slums. And for help with that, you should talk to Polk. On our way to talk to Polk then. But first, looking at these diagrams. Good stuff, good stuff. Don't know what any of this means, but you know, seems important. <gasps> Moogle poster, of course. I know what you have to say. You look kind of nervous. I just want to make sure I have the plan down pat. You know, like how to get up top and all that. Huh. Well, if you had an ID, you'd normally just take the train up there. But with all the commotion going on, that's not really an option. Security's on high alert. If you ask me, your best bet is to sit tight and wait for things to settle down some. Sit tight? But I want to go now! Relatable. Case, go get killed. Uh, harsh. You look about ready to die of boredom. Want to play Fort Condor? Fort... Condor? <laughs> I should have known. It hasn't been out long, so there's no way you W's would have heard of it. Uh, yes I have. And what's more, I'm awesome at it. I'll whoop you so hard you'll wonder if you ever knew the rules. For my benefit, then. Let me go over them. See, I'm not very good at this game. I don't really get it. At all. At all. Um, and I'm sure some people have a lot of fun with this, but I don't get it. So, <laughs> I don't really know what to do here, if I'm being honest. Um, but I think we have to play a round to get through. Okay, when the game begins, you and your opponent will have three bases. Destroy your opponent's headquarters or have more bases. How do you determine which is which? The, like, chess symbols? Units will march forward. Okay. So, yeah. Move the cursor to deploy a unit. Press X to select your unit. Okay. We're gonna, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. We're gonna select this. Yeah, defensive. Yeah, and then we're gonna put something here, too. We're gonna... But yeah, a uh, riot trooper, yeah. Then they just march forward. Yeah, destroy. Woohoo! And we're out of. We have spells though. Do we have spells? Um, I'm just putting stuff with like the most health. And I, I don't know, I feel like that's. Yeah, let, let, let's. Sure, ranged. Yeah, ranged. Okay. I'm pressing L- oh, whoa, we have spells. Okay, magic attacks. Press L1 to press a location to select your magic. Uh, press X to unleash. Great. Should we do a little healy thing? Well, I don't think that's a good idea yet, but yeah, let's fire away. And then, oh, oh, oh. Okay, he needs help for sure. Uh, he needs, he needs a blast ray, definitely. And then a, maybe a cure in that general direction as well. Yeah, okay. Wait, what, what, what happened to my buddies? No! We were making progress. What happened? Place a riot trooper, why don't we? And we'll even place a... Ooh, guard dog has high attack. Yeah, let's just start working on that base, I guess. Oh no! We don't have any spells available. We can't do anything. Wow, they're really just just destroying over there. No! There, guard dogs. Oh, we destroyed a base! I've never gotten this far. I think I lost the first one, like, right away. 
Um, but I love this blast ray thing. I feel like it's working out really well for me. So we're just gonna put one of them. The thing is, I, I've put two defensive units like working on their base, headquarters. Oh, they just destroyed me. All right, well, we need some offensive. So we'll use a security officer. I like that they're all just like beating up on my thing here and I'm... Is anything even happening to my bases? No. Okay. Oh, we gotta put something here to block. Put another riot trooper. Yeah, happy with that. And we need another offensive thing on this guy's headquarters. So yeah, slug ray seems good. I'm sure the difference between these is there, but I don't know, like I'm sure they have like weaknesses and stuff. Can I do spells yet? No, I can't. We did it! We won! Victory! I think we lost the first one, the first time I tried this. So I'm really excited that we actually won this time. I don't know why, maybe it's because it's the third time I've tried this game, but maybe I just needed to like do, do it the third time to win on the first try, obviously. First try, Brie. Okay, well, we won some stuff. Good. Great. Damn, Yuffie, how'd you do that? You totally kicked my ass. First try, you know. You, you didn't lose on purpose? Wow. <laughs> That's nice, Yuffie. Real nice. Well, if you're looking for a challenge, the Undercity's got no shortage of serious players. I've kind of got better things to do. Sure about that? Where it is, if you beat the Grandmaster, you can win some serious cash. Materia, too. Materia? That's right. But you should know, the hardcore competitors won't give you the time of day till you've proven yourself. Whatever. Bring it on. Bring it on. All right, do you have anything you else to say? Combat simulation module, right? Huh? Uh, of course I do. Why wouldn't I? It's that thing that stimulates modulation. Hmm? <laughs> Kinda. It's a machine that puts you in a virtual world where you can practice fighting all you want. There's even a portable version of it. Guy around the corner has one. Uh-huh. Hardly ever see technology that cutting edge down here. So what do you say? Want to try it? Yeah, I want to try it. I'll be playing around with some stimulator. But just to be polite, I guess I'll take it for a spin. <laughs> the guy's name is Chadley. He's over by the Chadley, our friend, our pal, our buddy. I'm sure he'd be happy to help. Would Chadley help us out? Sonon's still not back? Must be in Walmart. <gasps> What's okay. Walmart? Let's just say it's a place for people with mature tastes. Mature tastes. There's lots of different establishments. It's kind of hard to explain. No, I think I get it. Like bars filled with smoke so thick you can't even see. And drinks so bitter you want to spit them right back out. Uh, where everyone gets drunk and complains about how kids just don't understand the value of hard work. They'll be the death of society. Ugh, how can they not see that they're the ones destroying it? <laughs> Wutai's got a place like that, where grown-ups drink their lives away. It's called the Happy Turtle. Interesting. There's a Happy Turtle in Midgar as well. Huh? I don't know where exactly, because I've never actually been, but I do see their flyers from time to time. You do, huh? Oh, they're taking down Midgar one citizen at a time! <laughs> I salute you, Happy Turtle. Come to think of it, there's a man who goes around putting up flyers for the bar. People call him Old Snapper, and he doesn't dress like your average Midgar male. Might be from People Wutai. dress pretty party. wacky in Midgar. Uh, all this talking's giving me a headache. I'm gonna go do some recon. <laughs> I won't stop you. Just don't go too far, okay? I feel like Yuffie just okay boomered all of Walmart. <laughs> all of it. <laughs> In fact, all bars, Yuffie was just like, okay, boomer. <laughs> I don't think we took any damage, but how could you resist sitting on bench? Look at this nice, peaceful respite. You gotta take it when you got the chance.
You all know the first place I'm headed after this. Round the corner. Nobody's yelling at me. Ah! Let me in! Please! I want to go... Inside? Okay, everyone, listen up. Time for Stamp, there it is. the loyal little helper. Bow wow, I'm Stamp, the good boy who never... Bow wow, I'm Stamp. He's given me a very important mission to buy bread for tonight's dinner. So with his super duper nose, Stamp went into town to sniff out a bakery. He went a sniff sniff here and a sniff sniff there. Even finding milk, sausage, and cake didn't distract him. Using his trusty nose, Stamp was able to find the best, most yummiest bakery in the whole city. And from that bakery, he picked out the best, most yummiest smelling loaf of bread. Thinking about how pleased the captain would be, Stamp you went trotting back to base, wagging too? his tail and singing a happy song. Apparently. But on the road home, he came across a moogle crying all by himself. What's wrong? Stamp asked the forlorn little fellow. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten in ages, Koopo. The Moogle sniffled. Never fear. Stamp's here, and I know just how to help. So Stamp gave the crying Moogle his loaf of bread. Thank you, Koopo, the Moogle exclaimed, his palm bouncing excitedly. Then Stamp waved goodbye and returned to base. When he got there, he went straight to the captain and told him what had happened. The captain was very proud of Stamp. Helping that Moogle was the right thing to do. Who's a good boy? The captain laughed as he gave Stamp a good scratch behind the ears. And Stamp let out a happy bark, for he knew that he was the good boy. The end. That's a nice story. Did everyone enjoy that? I guess. I'm a little bit confused why all these cats are around listening to this story about a hero dog. Hi there, are you here for the <gasps> Betty! They literally gave her her name. That's adorable. <gasps> and now, finally, I'm glad it wasn't like drawn out even longer. Take. Orb of warding. I don't remember what that does. Let's find out. Okay, reduces, so it grants resistance to the linked materia status ailment. Okay. Not my favorite materia. Not my favorite. I think that's super important when you're like knowing what fight you're going to head into. Why can't I? Okay, jump that off of that. Um like a second playthrough, I feel like that materia is super valuable, but not for a first playthrough when you don't even know what fight you're about to head into. Wow, this music is so good. And we like that? I guess, I mean, I, um, I don't really know what to make of that because like we associate Scarlet as <laughs> I don't know what to make of that line. We associate Scarlet as like being with Shinra, so she's like a villain. And so, yeah, when they say that line, like, oh, she's a role model climbing the corporate ladder and looking sexy while doing it, I'm like, <laughs> if she wasn't a villain, I'd be like, yeah, girl power. <laughs> but, <laughs> like, She's a villain in this game, so like I can't root for her. <laughs> that line like really confused me like <laughs> to my core. <laughs> oh man, I did not what did not know what to make of that. Okay, so now we're back here. I don't know why we have like a little questy marker there. Um, we're supposed to go around the corner to talk to someone. No, not Johnny. Just great. 
are you gonna find enough money at this short? What do you got for me, Johnny? Wasting your last gill on some flavor of the month game. But you know me, I'm a sucker for fads. There you go again, making excuses. When what you should be doing is getting your affairs in order by seeing Tifa. No, then she tried to stop me from leaving. Would she? Would still go, Johnny, if I told you that I, that we. Johnny, this imagination. Together, man. <laughs> He's still talking. <laughs> um, all I gotta say is what a goofball. All right. Uh, don't freaking scare me like that. I've been standing here for like five minutes. Huh? Who the hell are you? Who am I? Someone who doesn't spend all day muttering to themselves in the shadows. Like some kind of Shinra spy. Say what? Me? No. -uh. I was just, you know, thinking about stuff. Huh? Hmm. I don't need know if you should elaborate on what you were yeah, thinking like about. Bag that sweet, sweet Fort Condor prize money. It's my ticket out of here. <laughs> so you're after the Grandmaster too? Sorry to burst your bubble, Mr. Shadow Lurker, but I'll be the one taking home those spoils of war. Yeah. Well, over my dead body, you will. My life's on the line here. I deserve to eat. I deserve to live. You do deserve to eat, and you do deserve to live, but... I feel like... I don't even want to play this. Press R1 and L1 to switch between loadouts. Or you can edit a loadout. Swap in a new unit. Okay. Cancel. Oh, we just have to because we're in tutorial mode now. All right. We're in tutorial mode. Choose your loadout wisely. Okay, he's got ranged and a lot of defensive. So we've got some offensive, which we love. And we've got a little, you know, we got a nice balanced thing here. Oh, wait. Okay, so this little triangle thing that says like, Shield beats offensive and offensive beats ranged and ranged beats. Is that like a, a rock, paper, scissors kind of triangle? Is that what that's trying to tell me? Um, so that means if he has a lot of defensive, then I would want to make sure that I have ranged, which I have two of. Like we've got a nice balanced loadout here. And we don't have the option of adding any more ranged anyway. So we're just not gonna bother. What about in our other loadout? No, it's the same. Okay. Then let's confirm. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, you have a defensive over there. So in response, I'm gonna put a ranged fella right there. You know what? I'm even gonna put two. Yeah. Deal with it. Where, where'd my ranged guy go? Oh, he's right there. Okay, all right. And then over here, I'm gonna put, ah! Oh, okay, we're crushing you basically, great. So I'm actually gonna put a little defensive man over here. I really like the blast ray vibes. So all right, let's let's use a spell here. Deal some damage after landing. Draws units inward while dealing damage. Okay. I don't really know if that was the right thing to do here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 That worked great. We should have used it on maybe more than just one person, but sure. While we're here, let's put a little Sugray and let's give him some backup. Maybe send in, send in, send in the God Dog. I wish though I hadn't done that because they really need to be 
dealing damage to just one of their things. Okay, we put a little defensive man here, and then draws units inward while dealing damage. I don't know. Let, yeah, draw the units inward. Why not? Ah! Ah! Hey, 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 hey. Stop making moves on my base. Stop it. All right, there we go. Now back to their base. Crush them. All right, so we're gonna put a little grenadier here so that you can defeat this base. Oh, we've defeated a base, wow. So good at this game. But we've used all of our spells, so. Okay. All right, now is the time to be really offensive. Here we go. Put in a guard dog there. All right, that's working out in our favor. Yeah, there goes your base. Johnny, you're about to lose it. All right, definitely they're gonna maybe put up a defensive thing, so we're gonna put up a rangy thing. I don't know. Yeah, see, I knew they were gonna put up a defensey thing. Good thing we put up a ranged thing. And we're just gonna... Okay, we got some more ATB, so we're gonna put an offensive boy. Right there. Here we go. We've won again! We've done it! Sorry, Johnny. This can't be I guess you won't be eating itself. tonight. Oh, goodbye, fortune. Goodbye, pride. <laughs> now I'm taking down Midgar a citizen at a time. Hmm? Wait, what'd you say? That all of Midgar is gonna suffer the same fate. Sorry, Johnny. You were just in the wrong place in the wrong time, talking about the wrong woman. So we had to destroy you. Okay. Some nice wares. Variety store. Bellwood. It's certainly a look. <laughs> They're spending food money on purses? We've all been there. Haven't we? Are you supposed to be a miracle? <laughs> <laughs> a valid question, I think. What is going on here? What's going on here? Oh, the joy and cheer that away at the happy turtle. Oh, ho, greetings, Softshell. So, how many of those flyers did you find? What? Ahem. Collect just six flyers for the happy turtle, and a one of a kind prize could be yours. Ring any bells? No, nope. never heard of that in my life. Allow me to explain. The happy turtles running a contest. Uh, I didn't the rules need. Are simple. All you have to do. You already. Six of our fabulous the rules were pretty simple. Seven, and you'll earn yourself a prize sure to delight even the dourest diamondback. <laughs> Sadly, a handful of locals have taken to acting like stink pots toward anything Mutayan, especially since the bombing. Some have even gone so far as to tear down my poor posters. Little wonder nobody's won yet. Bummer. <laughs> Which leaves me in a pretty predicament. But hey, my pain might be your game. By collecting just a handful of flyers, you could be the first. Let me guess. Do I have to collect the most flyers? Contest in Midgar's history. This here is a sample of one of our ads. Breathtaking, isn't it? Now it's up to you to find all six. Leave no shell unturned. Okay. No on okay. That prize is as good as mine. Well, now that you've told us three ah, times you what the rules are. Coins on you, would you? This job may keep a shell over my head, but my real passion's coin collecting. I'd gladly part with some oddities and commodities in exchange for those little buttes. Okay, then. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Okay, so we've earned coins, Condor coins, every single time that we have won a battle. And this is, I guess, where we spend them. So we can buy ourselves some, some,
little guys. <laughs> I don't know what else to call them. Little guys. Um, uh, so this is saying there's only one in stock. So we might want to have that. And there's only one in stock of these and we might want to have that too. So, hmm, perhaps we want to buy these with our condor coins. Sure. I'm just, anything that's low in stock, I know that this is totally a marketing move to be like, oh, limited stock, limited supply, but like, I'm there. If you tell me we're almost out, I'm snatching it. I don't care what it is, don't know what it is. I'm doing it anyway. Okay. So I need to stop hearing this song immediately. So I'm gonna walk away from this. And we're gonna head towards some other corner of this sector. More music, the same song. You know what, older sisters are the best. Man, I love all the NPC dialogue. I really can't get enough of it. Ooh, a secret? No, just, just a platform for no reason. Okay. Who are you waving at? No one? Good. Great. <laughs> There's some weirdos here. Am I ever gonna escape from this jingle? Oh, there's a lot of flyers there. Hmm. Look at all these cats. I don't know, let's just see where this takes us. Listen, I know that this was a very expensive marketing tool employed by the snapping turtle. Happy turtle? Happy turtle. But in retribution for their jingle being played literally everywhere and I can't escape it, I will be popping this very expensive, mar expensive marketing tool. And I'm not sorry. Nope. I will not feel remorse. Thank you. No, don't play louder. Don't play it louder. Please. Don't worry. They'll be back soon. I promise. Wedge. they are here. Oh, you're purring like a motor, aren't you, little buddy? What's going on? Not right now. I'm in the middle of something important. Is it for a condor? Not right now. I'm in the middle of something important. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take this thing over here. And then I'm going to Is run away. Even though when we popped that balloon, there were at least six flyers attached to that thing, and we only got one for that, I think that's kind of messed up. Stairs? Not for us. Those are MPC stairs, you see. Who are you waving at? Oh, actually someone this time. W what are you doing? Just standing? Okay. Solid. I feel like I recognize you, maybe. No. You're not an NPC that I know. Um, sir? What are we gonna do? We're going to concentrate on our jobs and not worry about things that don't concern us. This this little girl with a moogle hat is walking right up to us. What are we gonna do? Hey, I'm 
over here. Can't believe those freaking morons. They damn near got themselves eaten trying to hide that stupid poster. You stay away from that factory, you hear? Place has monsters coming out of the walls. That sounds like exactly where I want to go. To kick some butt. The fiends have been acting up since the bombings. Like they know something we don't. Just wish that Merc were still around. He'd sort those critters out. The Merc. The Merc is us. Oh, you! <laughs> I'm waiting, my friend! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Am I gonna have to kick your butt in Fort Condor, too? Why, hello there! Forgive me for saying, but you remind me of a dear friend of mine. Perhaps you've met him? I don't know. Is he Shinra, too? Perhaps, perhaps. My name is Roche, by the way. <laughs> by the way. Ordinarily, your ill-concealed hostility and exotic wardrobe would give me pause. But not today, for I am here on business of a personal nature. Looking for my aforementioned friend. What's his name? Oh, I only wish I knew. But I can't You don't even know his name? Need for speed, as they say. And while he boasts a very large sword, his first love is plainly his mount. Yeah, he sounds great. Say, is that Fort Condor I see over there? You play? I'm always ready for a round of Fort Condor. Though, I suspect a delicate flower like you would wither if exposed to my scorching passion for the- Now I have to crush you. Maybe after some practice, hmm? <gasps> He won't even fight me! Wow. I don't even like the Fort Condor game, but I have to crush him. Are you kidding me? He was really looking at me, investigating me. It really does look like Gwen. I don't think it is, but it really does look like her. Don't be like that. I don't know if there's anything to do here except kind of absorb NPC dialogue. I don't know why I'm walking this way, honestly. I'm just kind of exploring. Oh, weren't these guys super weird? Like she was like falling asleep. Okay, why are you following me, not Gwen? Yeah, she like falls asleep. They have this, the weirdest dialogue in the whole game. He's like being all romantic and she's just literally falling asleep. You have nothing to fear, my love. I would never let any harm come to you. <laughs> so odd. Just plain odd. Sweet, sweet music. Her snoring is music? No. You try to get too. The place, no place to be Weird. Okay, now that Gwen has literally followed me across the map, curious, curious. Okay, sir? Okay, this red-haired NPC is like everywhere and I'm like, your hair is far too red to be that common in NPC. 
It's just, it grabs your attention, so you, you instantly realize how repeated she is. I don't even want to play Fort Condor! I want to do other- There she is again! <laughs> this red-headed MP- <gasps> Jesse. Enough already, Shinra. I get it. I should be up there with them. Not that I'd be much use, but still. Where are they? They should have been here by now. Huh? Waiting for someone? Ooh, you got stood up. As if. Wait, who are you? <laughs> Don't mean to be rude or anything, kid. But do you mind? I'm not exactly in the mood. Hmm. I see you play Fort Condor. I also see I can't go around this porch. So, back down I go. So I know that them telling us this whole thing of like, I can't, what is this cat holding? Get back here, you little turtle thief. Now we gotta chase a cat. So I know the whole thing about, you used to be a vendor, are you still a vendor? What do you That's vend now? Outfit, but wait till you see my stock. Odd introduction to your wares. Highly odd. Ooh, but maybe we can take one of these. Yes, though, is what I wanted to press. I don't even know what you are, but we're taking you. Take? Mm, elixirs we like. They're expensive, but we've kind of got a lot of gill. You're on sale, but we don't really use potions because we have a cura. So, goodbye. I know... Jesse and Wedge saying like, oh, where are they? Like, they should be back by now. Is telling us where in the game this takes place. Like when, I mean, the timeline of of this. Um, but I don't remember. <laughs> it's gotta be like before the plate falls, right? Yes. So then they'd be on the mission to... I don't remember. It's got to be before chapter 8. Yeah. Yeah. Not the first reactor, because that is what starts the game, but the second one. But for some reason, I like can't follow what happens there. Yeah, I can't... Mm, something's... not sticking in my brain with the story, like the plot. There it is. The call of the turtle. Okay, I'm not gonna fight these cats, so... just gonna have to give me the flyer. Nope. Oh, you all have different flyers. These are all flyer cats. Okay. Good. That's not what we need. Also not what we need, but cute. Ooh, take. So is this like Turtle Jingle the only song that they have in Midgar right now? All right, cat. We're going to need to take this flyer. You can have food. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Hiss at me. Rude. Flyer acquired. Here's the thing. I'm dancing, but I'm not happy about it. So, I just think it's important that you know that. Wow, I'm really, I'm, I feel a little bit assaulted by this music. Like, I can't get away from it. Instant food shop. Great. Oh, is this a guy with, okay, no. One of them has a really rude guy. Uh, quite the get up you're sporting there. What do you have? 
Nothing that I want, sir. I'll be on my way. Goodbye. Okay. So, oh, it's um Kyrie, right? You know the drill. You want to play? You got to fork over. What's your deal? And why are you dressed like a 5-year-old? That's just weird. Uh, what are you You're saying about? her outfit's weird? This isn't weird. It's super cute. Super cute? <laughs> More like super lame. Not as lame as Midgar. Rude. Just saying how much I was looking forward to playing Fort Condor. I could really use the training, you know. Sure, I'll put you through your paces. But you do know it's gonna cost you, right? Cost me what? Match three gil. Hey up. Um, no. I'm not here to play Fort Condor. I am here for quests. And to senses are tingling. Oh my gosh. Figured it'd spare my tenants the trouble of chasing off nosy men. That's probably a good move. I don't know what to make of all this turtle music. It's so goofy. Oh, are we gonna have to deal with this? Ooh. Why does it have like ice white eyes? Okay. This is a sneaking game again, I see. What is this style of music called? It's got like this style This like was popular in the 50s. Doo-wop, right? Yeah. Okay, dog. Why is it you were just you just fell asleep, dude? All right, we're gonna try one more time, but I really I'm this music is killing me. Wow, 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 wow. Like, really? <laughs> I'm dying a little bit. Gosh. Sneaky, sneak. Uh, uh, uh. And go back to sleep. And go back to sleep. There we go. Back to sleep. Okay. What? I wasn't even in your line of sight. What? Okay. So it's obviously not based on how fast you're walking. So here we go. We're going to do, do this one more time. Now I can't see. Okay, dog is asleep and run, 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 run. Where even is the flyer? Like, why am I even trying? Like, I don't even know where it is. Dog, fall asleep. Get behind the box. Snaps got me. Okay, dog is asleep. Don't see me, don't see me, don't. <sighs> There's gotta be a rhythm of like, is it like short nap, short nap, long nap? Like, there's gotta be. Okay. I'm not doing this, listening to this music, okay? Wah, 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 wah. Absolutely not. All right. Moving on. Let's go find Chadley. Search Chadlius. Candidate detected. Performing physical analysis. She seems relatively agile and has substantial muscle mass for her stature. Hmm. Unacceptable candidate. 
Hey, uh, we love Chadley. You tell me what you're mumbling about? My apologies. My name is Chadley. Would you be interested in helping me with my research? Yes, always. Me. Nice to meet you. So, what are you researching? Combat. It would entail doing battle with the summon in a virtual arena using this portable simulator. Interested? Hmm. Sure. Why not? I'm a kick its butt. Very well then. <laughs> very well then. He's <laughs> like, oh, that's very funny. And that's going to be all for today's episode of Final Fantasy VII Remake Intermission. Are you loving it? I definitely am. So far, Yuffie is such a joy to play with and get to know as a character. She's like spunky and spirited and just super, super unique. I am absolutely loving spending time with her and I'm excited to play some more. Her gameplay is super, super fun and I have a feeling there's some nuance that I have yet to learn. So gonna be good stuff coming up. Make sure to like the video. If you enjoyed it, share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And of course, please remember to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss the next video. And that's all. I love you all. Bye!